and Lena Gardner of the Black Lives of UU Organizing Collective. They and their team have been very, very, very busy since the Black Lives Matter action of immediate witness was overwhelmingly supported last year in Portland. Leslie? Good morning, General Assembly 2016. My name is Leslie Mack. I founded the Ferguson Response Network, and I'm a black UU from Grand Rapids, Michigan. Last July, with support from the UUA Office of Multicultural Growth and Witness, a group of black UUs attended the Movement for Black Lives convening in Cleveland at Cleveland State University, not too far from here. I personally served that weekend as a convening co-coordinator, while another Black Lives of UU organizer, Alandria Williams, led the on-site safety team. Over several meals that weekend, Black UUs engaged in a series of conversations which planted the seeds that would ultimately become Black Lives of UU. Our work over the last 10 months as a collective has led us here to our participation at General Assembly where we hope to engage with many of you directly. Our four session program track is designed to be both informational and transformational. We begin with two sessions, one later today, the Black Lives Convening and Explicitly Black Spaces and Black Lives in Unitarian Universalist History. Black UUs who attended the m for bl convening will talk about their experience in the first and our own Kenny Wiley focuses on the long history of black UUs making change for our faith and in the world in the second. Our final two sessions are workshops that include affinity spaces for black folks, non-black people of color, and our white allies. An introduction to anti-blackness will delve into the ingrained ways that black people and blackness are made to seem less than. And in our final session, a double session in fact, our ongoing work, which begins in affinity spaces and transitions into a combined space, geared to enable attendees to leave this General Assembly with concrete ways to move forward. We invite everyone to join together for these sessions as well as for our Black Lives Centered closing worship Sunday afternoon. Together, we know that we can transform our faith. Good morning, everyone. My name is Lena Catherine Gardner, and I work at the Church of the Larger Fellowship, and I'm part of the, yes, CLF, woo! <laughs> I'm part of the Black Lives of UU Organizing Collective, also one of the early organizers of the Black Lives Matter Minneapolis chapter. Thank you. <laughs> Last time there was a black revolutionary mo movement, thousands of black UUs were so hurt by the actions of some, they permanently left our faith. I want us to learn from our past. Those events, the injustice of black slavery, indigenous genocide, and land theft can move us into despair. It can move us into hopelessness. We can let guilt and shame paralyze us, or we can do something different. For every one of us, investing in Black-led organizations and leadership is one of the most powerful things we can do to resist white supremacy. We must be willing to support groups in innovative ways, ways that may be uncomfortable, ways that are different. We must be willing to help people grow in areas they don't have a lot of experience in and trust them to do the work in a new way. Giving money and supporting black leadership cannot bring back lost lives. It cannot mitigate the continued injustices that we sustain, but it can be part of our ongoing journey towards justice as you use. It can be part of changing. 
I believe we can embrace our history and forge a new path toward liberation. When we don't turn away or diminish our, our history, we can learn from it. When we listen to the new leaders and make space for new ways of doing things, we can build a new way. Let us journey together into discomfort. Let us have courage to take new risks together. Let us give as we have never given before of our money, our time, and our talents. The Black Lives of UU Organizing Collective is deeply rooted in Unitarian Universalism. We are here doing this work because we insist on working toward making the first principle of this faith a reality. To say we affirm the inherent worth and dignity of every person is a nice start, but we, each and every one of us in this faith, have to do work to make sure that's true. Many of you, through hanging church banners and going through to protests and so much more, have deepened your commitment to the Black Lives Matter movement. It's going to take all of us. If you are white, we need you to take risk. Risk disrupting unjust systems, risk pointing and pushing your congregation to do more, to risk pointing out white supremacy when you see it, and to risk trusting people and voices that our society tells us have less value. For people of color, our challenge is to lead with care, with courage, and in solidarity with each other. The less society says we should trust someone's voice or experience, the more we need to listen to them. Black Lives of you, you is here to move from the margins toward the center and bring our face great promise, the idea that we are all connected and that each of us has inherent worth to fruition. On Saturday morning, right here in this hall, the assembly will take a special collection on behalf of Black Lives of UU. By itself, as Lena said, money won't end white supremacy, but it can buy us tools to put some real dents in it. We need one another. May we be the Unitarian Universalists who give fiercely, who love deeply, and who, through not just our words and our banners, but also through our deeds and actions, proclaim that black lives matter here. Thank you. Ooh.